What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about courage signing exclusively with YouTube Gaming. Now, if you guys clicked on this video, you probably already heard the news last night. Courage announced that he would be exclusively streaming his content on YouTube as a platform. And this doesn't really come as a surprise to anybody because Courage has been hyping up an announcement on Twitter and social media for the last couple of days now. And if you guys didn't know, the agency that represents Courage, it, they're called Loaded. They also represent Ninja, Shroud, Tim the Tatman, Lyric, Summit, a bunch of other people. And this agency basically came out and confirmed that nearly all of their content creators are negotiating different exclusivity deals with either Twitch, YouTube, or Mixer. And Courage was the first to basically come out and say that he is exclusively signing with YouTube, whereas obviously we saw Ninja and Shroud go over to Mixer for a ridiculous amount of money. Now, we don't know any specifics of the contract that Courage signed with YouTube Gaming, but you know, it it's, could be estimated to be very similar to the other contracts, probably a little bit less, because if you look at the Social Blade numbers for Ninja, Shroud, and Courage, Courage is 25th most followed, whereas Ninja and Shroud sit in the top five or 10 or whatever the case is. So Ninja and Shroud, much bigger channels on Twitch when they signed this deal. So of course, you know, obviously it's probably going to be a little bit lower for Courage, but he is number 25 as far as the last that I checked, the 25th most followed person on Twitch. So make no mistake, Courage is a massive streamer. So this was definitely a huge acquisition for YouTube. And I'm glad to see them actually taking out their checkbook and putting their money where their mouth is and stepping into the ring and starting to sign some of these bigger players. What's interesting is that this was inevitable. Mixer kind of messed the whole game up when they signed Ninja and now basically forced everybody else to sign exclusivity deals if they want to keep their biggest talent. And I think that that's really great great for people who are in the live streaming space but we have yet to see what long-term effects this is going to have on the platforms now again we don't know the specifics of this contract we don't know how long this contract is going to be for of course anytime these contracts come across the desk they're usually for a set period of time they are not indefinite so it could be two years three years four years whatever the case might be we don't know how much money courage made off of this but we know for sure it's in the millions of dollars because again courage is one of the biggest streamers on Twitter which was one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. And not only that, but he is a key content creator for 100 Thieves. And Nate Shot is the CEO of 100 Thieves, Matthew Haig. He has a super, super close relationship with Fwiz, Ryan Wyatt, who is the head of YouTube Gaming. So Nate Shot could literally just shoot Ryan a text, be like, yo, Courage is looking for a deal. And Ryan is going to pull all the strings. He's going to make, you know, the best deal possible for courage for jack because you know this is basically this is friendship here these are people that have known each other for years probably a decade or more um all have been in the call of duty scene in the gaming scene and the youtube streaming scene um so i'm sure that the deal that courage got was insanely good especially for his size because again we're talking about friendships here we're talking about people who know each other super super well on top of the fact that courage was already one of the biggest streamers on twitch so that's pretty much everything that we know at this point now i'm going to be talking about my opinions on this matter right i'm going to be giving some some things that are just my own thoughts on this situation um again i think this was a a move that youtube was forced to make by mixer um mixer is owned by microsoft and microsoft is like the most prof profitable company in the world they're top three always in the past couple of years so microsoft has basically unlimited money to purchase twitch streamers for their platform mixer and you know if you look at the the deals that ninja is getting and the deals that shroud got and things like that these dollar signs you know the, this is a lot of money right like don't don't get it twisted this is a lot of money for a content creator you know shroud is 25 he's making you know the deal he signed was probably what 25 50 million dollars for his exclusivity i know that there's leaks going on uh, going around out there we don't know the specific numbers um technically but you know that's a lot of money for shroud but if you look at microsoft you know that's a drop in the bucket that is nothing to them 25 million dollars 50 million dollars it's, it's nothing for microsoft to invest that money in into mixer and hope that they can you know grow their live streaming uh service their live streaming platform 
and just to see what happens right if anything that 25 50 million dollars for shroud is just research and development they're just spending that money to see okay what's the future of live streaming can we participate can we be a big player in this and if buying one like does buying one big streamer work can we buy ninja and shroud and will that boost our platform or do we have to buy a bunch of smaller streamers they're basically just trying to figure this out and trying to learn as they go so you know youtube was basically forced to start making deals with these uh streamers and courage is like one of the first or the first that we're seeing um actually take a deal from youtube instead of mixer and you know i wonder if maybe mixer didn't offer him enough money uh, and maybe he got more from youtube or maybe he just wanted to side with um with fwiz because he knows him personally and he wanted to help a friend out or maybe they were similar deals and he just was gonna help out fwiz regardless now i don't blame ninja and shroud for taking the deals that they did because they made millions of dollars off of that deal anybody in their right mind would sign a deal like that because not only does it give them a lot of money um but that's not really the whole picture right like these guys already were millionaires before they signed those contracts um what it really gives them is time freedom right it gives them the ability to not have to stream 12 hours a day seven days a week to maintain their audience and their revenue right these guys now that they have a set income these guys can actually take breaks they can actually not stream for a day and not have to worry about not getting the same size paycheck that they're used to getting so of course you know that's the biggest thing for them is not really the money but it's the money versus the amount of time they're putting in and that guaranteed paycheck is worth a lot for them because you know again they get some of their time back and they can spend less time streaming so you know their deals that they signed were great deals i think they made they made out like bandits right but i think courage got the better deal here right because if we look at youtube versus mixer in terms of streaming right like obviously twitch is number one twitch has the biggest um fan base out of any other live streaming platform in fact all of the other live streaming platforms combined don't even match up to twitch right like twitch has insane market share right now but youtube is actually in second place um for we're looking at market share in terms of you know the amount of people watching youtube has like 20 something percent of the live streaming market at this point whereas mixer only has about three percent of the market share so even though mixer again they're throwing millions of dollars into the ring to see if they can grow their market share um but they're still way smaller than youtube and youtube is even way smaller than twitch so if we're looking at the numbers right like youtube is really the the competitor to twitch i know mixer has been in the news recently for these large acquisitions but if we're being honest with ourselves right youtube is going to be the competitor to twitch i really can't see a future where you know we see mixer actually start to gain ground you know even if they bump their market share up to six percent they double their market share it's still not even close to youtube and it, that's not even close to twitch right so i'm not saying that twitch is you know the juggernaut that's never gonna die because they've had their fair share of controversy over the last year or so um more than their fair share of controversy should i say um so you know competition is good and i think there is going to be you know a a increase in the market share for twitch and uh for i'm sorry for mixer and for youtube um but i really if we're being honest i think if we're looking at the numbers five years from now you know if, if i were to predict which of the three it wouldn't exist i'm thinking five years from now mixer is probably not going to exist right that's just my prediction you know and i'm not saying that uh that it's going to happen but i am saying that if one of them is if you told me of the three one is going out of business in five years like you know it's gotta be mixer right i mean the market share is so small and we didn't really see a large jump in market share from from the ninja acquisition you know now they have shroud of course but you know is that really um is that really going to bring a huge amount of twitch over there i, I really doubt it right i mean they're bringing one or two major streamers but they're not they're they're plucking a big fish out of an ocean right big fish don't make the ocean a successful ecosystem it's all the smaller fish it's all of the organic growth and the community that's there um you know mixer doesn't really have a community mixer has ninja and shroud and you know it has a lot of other people who were either banned from twitch or just don't like twitch in general because of their controversy and that's not really a great foundation to start your live streaming platform on right like that's just to me you know that just 
spells uh, a disaster so you know they are trying they're trying to get these bigger streamers and it's probably going to help in the short run um, but we're talking about you know they're up against Google and Amazon like let's not forget that you know even though Microsoft is backing mixer we're looking at Amazon owning twitch and we're looking at Google owning YouTube so like it's not like Microsoft can can just outspend these companies because you know as soon as they bought ninja um you know it forced the hand of of google and of amazon to start investing money in these contracts for these streamers so you know it's not like mixer is going to explode because they're buying these big content creators because if that's the case then you know Amazon and Google are just going to do the same thing. They have the same amount of money that they can spend uh, to keep or to buy these content creators. So personally, I think in the long run, Courage made a great move here. And I think it's an even smarter play than Ninja and Shroud because again, you know, YouTube has a way bigger market share. They have a way bigger um, a, a ecosystem on YouTube for gaming and you know you can actually be discovered organically on YouTube which is not something that you could even say for twitch right like that's one of the biggest things one of the biggest problems with twitch is getting discovered organically on twitch is almost impossible I mean it's just the, every browse page on the platform is sorted by popularity so if you want to watch a Fortnite streamer or a League of Legends streamer you are way 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 a hundred times a thousand times more likely to click on one of the top few streamers than you are to scroll all the way to the bottom and watch someone with one viewer so you know organic growth is not really possible on twitch and especially on mixer i mean there's really not that many people on the platform um no matter what you're reading in the news or whatever you know the hype around it it's it the truth is that there's insanely more people on twitch and youtube than there is on mixer so if we're talking about organic growth youtube is probably the number one place to live stream if we're being 100% honest and we're looking at the data, you know, YouTube already has a platform built behind it. Whereas Twitch, of course, you know, Twitch is the face of live streaming at the moment. So people are going there to watch live streams, right? Just because that's what they're looking for. But on YouTube, you know, YouTube is infinitely larger than Twitch. If we're talking about like the actual video sharing platform, I mean, YouTube itself is far bigger than Twitch. And you know, the chances are that it's more likely that you get discovered on YouTube than it is on Twitch. If you also make videos, right? Because people actually search things on YouTube, whereas nobody searches anything on Twitch or Mixer. So that, that opportunity opportunity for organic growth is exclusively on YouTube um, and also the fact that they have you know 20 something percent of the market share already they're already dwarfing uh, mixer by a long shot I think you know YouTube is gonna be the competitor to twitch like let's just like just let's be clear about one thing um, so courage signing this contract is basically you know not only is he securing the bag and securing his future just like ninja and shroud but I think he's choosing the right platform right like I think three years from now I think YouTube's gonna be in a much better place than mixer and you know time will tell um, ninja and shroud moving over to mixer we we have to wait a few quarters to see what that really does in the long term but I have my suspicions that it's not going to really move the needle too much and Mixer's gonna have to think of another strategy they're going to have to either you know sign a, a, a dozen medium-sized streamers as opposed to one large streamer or two large streamers um, that's my that's my prediction I think that again courage I think he made the right decision I think YouTube is uh, has a brighter future than mixer and will be the real competitor to twitch because as it stands they're really the only one statistically that that makes sense to be competing against twitch Plus, they already have the platform backing it. They already have the gaming content behind it. So to me, um, this is exciting. I'm glad to see YouTube is finally stepping into the ring and taking out their checkbook and, and signing some of these content creators who actually deserve these paychecks. I mean, if we're being honest, um, these influencers and these live streamers have so much uh, to offer advertisers and they have so much to offer their, their communities and the platforms that they stream on. They shouldn't be relying exclusively on donations. And I know like, yes, they make millions of dollars. And so there's no reason for the, to, you know, to argue that they should be making more money. Of course, right? Of course. But, um, you know, they, they're just, they're basically celebrities at this point and they should be treated as such. Um, they shouldn't have to stream 12 hours a day for you know six months straight just to make sure that they make their money because you know if you guys don't know live streaming if you take a week off like 
that could ruin your career and you know i know that sounds like a bit a bit dramatic but it, it's true people forget really quick you will be forgotten uh if you stop posting content so this kind of gives them the, the chance to relax and i think that you know this is the right play i think courage made the right move and i think he probably got a great deal because of whiz and and nade shot you know kind of working together um and, and making sure that he gets what he's worth and you know if anyone's gonna know what he's worth it's it's gonna be whiz so you know i think that this was a great move i'm excited to see who switches next um obviously we are not done seeing i think all throughout 2020 we're going to be seeing these huge contracts be signed um every well, probably once a month once every other month we're going to see a major streamer moving to a different platform or signing exclusively with twitch and you know it was interesting in the reveal video on youtube that Twi that uh that courage posted he basically used um you know nade shot and valkyrie uh in the video as actors basically and um um, in that video, Valkyrie actually says, you know, right at the beginning, before Courage says the announcement, um, Ray basically says, if Jack is leaving, I'm leaving. And, you know, I know that that, that was probably just her line because you know the way that it fits in context that it makes sense for her to say that but what if that's an easter egg for Valkyrie Valkyrie moving to to an, another platform my prediction is that YouTube gaming gets all of 100 thieves uh, I think you know just based on nade shot and fwiz and and his connection there um, I think that nade shot would would do would do fwiz a solid um, you know the only thing that makes me hesitant to really back that prediction is because is, is really the fact that nade shot ex assigned exclusively with MLG and if you, you think about it nade shot was the first one to really do this I mean back in the day nade shot was exclusively on MLG and that that made a bunch of other Cod Pro switched to MLG and that kind of ruined the Call of Duty live streaming community if you ask me um, it really stagnated the growth because you know nobody was on MLG right regardless um, you know I think Nade Shot regrets that decision tremendously because it, it definitely hindered uh, Call of Duty's growth in the twit in the live streaming uh, scene, basically. So you know, I think he might be hesitant to sign an exclusivity deal with a partner that isn't the number one streaming platform. But if Courage is doing it and Valkyrie has that little Easter egg in there, then it, you know, and just knowing Nade Shot's relationship with Fwiz, it wouldn't surprise me if all of 100 Thieves uh, is signed exclusively with YouTube Gaming, kind of as like a big bundle package, right? Um, so, you know, and of course, they are one of the, you know, biggest esports organizations on the planet, and they're relatively new. Um, so, yeah, that those are my predictions. That's what I'm thinking. That Those are my thoughts on Courage moving over to YouTube Gaming. Um, best of luck to Courage. I think he's going to do amazing things i think he really deserves this breakthrough um he's he's absolutely exploded over the last two years since fortnite came out he's a great personality he's a great guy it seems like you know he's he's just one of the better more wholesome uh you know um content creators who who just really cares about their fans and you can tell based on his tweets and his content um so yeah with that being said guys if i want to know your thoughts on this comment down below telling me what you think about this move what do you think do you think he should have gone to mixer do you think he should have stayed on twitch for the longevity what do you guys think make sure if you enjoy the video drop a thumbs up on this video so that way um you know i know that you're enjoying the content if you didn't like it make sure you hit the dislike button and send it to one of your haters that way they're forced to waste their time watching 20 15 20 minutes of me rambling about something they don't care about and with that being said guys make sure you subscribe to my channel to tell the youtube algorithms that you're interested in my content click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a video all of my social media links are in the description below along with my discord where you can come chat with me we can play games together and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace